Hi, this is Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks Part 4. Kathy here. We're going to continue from where we left off on our project. We were customizing an invoice, so we'll just go back and continue on. This is where we left off, right here in the Layout Designer window. There's lots of things that we could do to fix this invoice. We can go up here and remove these borders. So we go to Properties, we click on the block that we want to correct, and just go in here and uncheck these boxes. Say OK. We can do the same here. Right click. OK, you want to right click. Properties, hit the Border tab, uncheck these boxes. Now you may want to keep these. Um, actually, if those are going to be kept there, I think I'd prefer to do some, maybe put a background there, fill the background, I'll do it with that silver, silvery gray color again. Say OK. And the same thing, I'm going to click on this box and then right click. OK. And we'll go to the background. Fill the background, check the box, click in this little field there, choose the color, say OK, and say OK. OK, now that's what it looks like up there. I prefer to have a little bigger font, so I'm going to right click in this field again. The text font, uh, maybe Arial 11. Uh, we'll do this one too, so they both look the same. Properties, maybe Arial 11 for that font. Same. OK. Say OK. Whoops, we have to say OK here. And then say OK to all if we want to save all this. That'll take us out of this window. Also over here, I probably want to move this over either move this over or rearrange this a little bit so that it's all lined up properly. You can actually move around your logo if you want to move your logo over here or at the top and move these boxes down you could do that as well. I like mine right there so and then maybe this could be a little smaller too. Just pull these corner arrows when the arrow appears on these little squares here at the edge of the field. You know, I think these fields up here also, I think I want to remove the border on these. Just take the border off. Say OK. Now we need to do this field. Just uncheck the boxes. You can also put little dash lines, change the pattern of the border if you like in here, the thickness, the color of the border. You can do all kinds of cool things with this. So I'm going to say OK. Also I notice in this build to field that we fixed right here, I'm going to right click in it. I click on the box, right click, go to properties, the build to. It happens to have this little check mark there. See how it's not lined up properly right there? There's an indent first line of text box checked. I want to uncheck that so that it lines up properly with the data that's underneath of it. Say OK. See now it lines up right here with the data field below it. Also you can go in here and change the size of these fields. I don't think I'm going to need it that big of a column here for the quantity. can have a bigger field for the description. Rate might want to be a little smaller. What you do is you click on the box and you pull this, okay? You put the line up the cross with that and pull it. The amount also, I'll make that a little smaller. So I've got a bigger description field here to work with. A lot of people have a lot of things in the description field. So there's still a lot to be done on this invoice. Okay, so this is going to wrap it up for this lesson. and. Stay tuned for part 5 of Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks by Kathy Hahn. 
in the next lesson, we're actually going to complete this invoice and we'll get to look at the before and the after. Thanks for joining. See you soon.